little ones and my daughter headed out to some homeschool activities this morning. They have nature walk and all that kind of good stuff going on and I think they said they're going to the Botanic Garden today in Memphis. If you're ever there, try and come during the springtime or late fall. Got a lot of pretty flowers and different things. They're really excited because they even like to go this time of the year. They've got a lot of different activities with kids and stuff like that. So they'll be busy with that today. I got the rest of my setup done for my next estate. And I got it done really late yesterday. <laughs> it took a while. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to actually, but it was okay. I actually uh, found a few more things that I got sold before I ever left there yesterday and went on and got those taken care of and marked as sold and all of that. This one I'm doing some pre-sales on, so and it's advertised that way. So we got those done. Pre-sales go through tomorrow which is Valentine's Day. So somebody can buy a freezer for their wife for Valentine's, I guess. Or some old furniture or something. But I'm headed to meet a friend that I have known for a really long time. I met Michelle and her husband, Johnny, several years ago. I don't, I don't even know how long I've known them now. Probably at least 10 years. Probably a little bit longer than that, actually. But short story is um, she was a realtor in the area we were in a business group together here in my neck of the woods and we were in a couple of different groups um, a women's business group and then also one that uh, was mixed co-ed and it was a referral group kind of similar to BNI but it was more locally uh, driven Michelle and I got to know each other got to be friends and through a series of events, I was uh, able to downsize her home. She asked me to downsize her home on the very first of going into the state sale liquidation full time. So I liquidated a whole lot of her stuff and they took off to Florida. She's always lived here in South Haven uh, pretty much all of her life, I think. Her dad's still here. And she um, just made a full life change. <laughs> Probably, I think about four or five years ago, something like that. Anyway, they moved down to Gulf Shores, God's Land, <laughs> in Alabama, and was living near the beach and all that. And I was so jealous of them. I missed her, but I was glad that she was able to have that little adventure. And they went down there for a while. Her husband taught school. And in between times, they've gone to several different job situations. They helped with uh, the Boy Scouts and, you know, several things like that. It's just a long story, and it would take a whole video on them. But they are back in town now, and they're at a place called, uh, I believe it's Robinwood. I'll have to look on there. I believe it's Robinwood. And it is a uh, retirement home situation, nursing home type situation. I haven't been there, so I don't really know if it's full out nursing or if it's got assisted care and nursing home facilities, but they've gone there. I don't know what their official title is. Again, I'll find that out today, but basically they're like resident managers and they've done that for several different places and different facilities in, I think, Nashville and a couple of different places. And they're back home again. They're in Bartlett, Tennessee, but that's about 30 minutes from me. So it's basically home. And I'm going to go out and meet her and have lunch and tour the facility a little bit and meet a few of the residents, probably. She'd like for me to be kind of the in-house um, estate liquidator so that when people are liquidating homes and things like that, they'll have somebody that they can refer to so that they can have um, an ease of move into a new life situation. So I'm excited to talk to her about that. I don't know that I'll be able to film inside the facility, but if I can a little bit, I'm sure she would let me do that and, and keep the privacy of people, you know. But 
this is a day in the life. This is part of what I do today, and then I'll show you some random things I do throughout the day, if possible. And if not possible, you'll see me on the next video. Okay, so I just had my meeting with my friend Michelle, and it was very nice. We sat and talked for about two hours, and I took a tour of the facility. I didn't want to really film in the facility, although I'm sure I probably could, and as it turns out, I may do one later because we are going to partner up, so I'm excited about that. And basically, as a, a state liquidator, I go in and in pretty much all the scenarios of whether they're downsizing, whether they're young, whether they're older, and need to move into this type of facility, which, oh my goodness, this is such a luxury one. It is such a nice one. I'm gonna see if I can drive around a little bit while I'm talking. I don't know how far I can go, but it's Robin Wood, as you see right there. The gazebo area. Beautiful, beautiful facility here. I told her I wanna move in. <laughs> It's more of a luxury type facility. When you're inside, it almost looks like you're on the deck of a cruise ship, and that's the way that she described it, and I was already thinking that. And it looks like kind of a cruise ship type of thing that you can look over balconies and see down into the main floor, and they've got a little area that they call Main Street that's got like a beauty shop, and you know, just all kinds of things. And then, of course, they've got cottages, like I'm going past now. They've got the main facility. They've got the three mills, and it's just absolutely magnificent. It really is. I was extremely impressed. If I ever have a family member, a friend, uh, as an estate liquidator, I have somebody that I want to suggest a facility to, this would be this just zoomed up to the top of my list here. It's just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Beautiful, beautiful area. But Michelle and I, we had, um, today was Fat Tuesday. So we were able to have uh, lunch together. And man, we had, oh my goodness, I can't even remember all that we had. We had a duck gumbo and a chef, they've got a chef and they've got a sous chef. They've got a couple of cooks, breakfast cook, and then they've got the cook. And he actually is um, Asperger's, which is awesome because this is just right in his little wheelhouse. <laughs> you can tell he's just magnificent. I used to cater and the food was just, it was five star. It really was. But we had duck gumbo and we had etouffee just all kinds of Cajun foods and he made a, a gorgeous bread pudding peach and pineapple and raisin bread pudding and just light as a feather oh my goodness I think I want to go back <laughs> that would be fun but I'm really excited because we are going to I'm gonna do a presentation uh, brochure for them like I used to do and, and still do for realtors that are in my area. And then when somebody moves to the area and they need to downsize, or they're gonna move from the area, rather, um, and they need to downsize and all of that, then they give them my brochure in a presentation packet and then they know that I can be, you know, someone that can come in and do an estate sale or help them downsize in some way. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here, and she's going to put this in their presentation packet so that when people move in, or people are touring the facility to possibly move in or move a family member in, then they will at least have one person, which would be me, that they will talk to about downsizing, what an estate sale is, what does a liquidator do, what can I expect to have happen, do I have to set it up? They're going to be really happy to learn that they take their things and they put it in their new facility, their new home, and I do the rest. So I'm very excited to partner with this group. It seems like that they're just right on target with where I need to be right now. So I'm very excited. Very excited for my friend Michelle and her husband, Johnny, too, which I got to sit with them and have a, a 
auction stuff from, so I'm gonna head there. 